Hey y'all, hope you're having an absolutely awesome weekend, or it was an awesome weekend, I guess, by the time this video gets posted. No, I do not drool. It's my daughter. She was on my chest. We were patting her on the back, and she's all over the place. Uh, so I, I was listening to different stuff this week, and I, I do this pretty much every week. But one of the things I found super uh, inspirational, I guess you could say, was listening to Robert Kiyosaki and Kim K Kiyosaki, that's a lot of Kiyosakis, and how they were talking about a gentleman who was doing kind of an interview, I guess he was, he was asking them the questions that callers had asked him about them. And so you would just ask them the question, and one of them was, what books are you currently reading? And they didn't hesitate, it wasn't like, oh well we slowed down our reading, we stopped learning, we stopped focusing on improving every day. They literally gave them, him book after book after book that they're working on, they're in, or that they're going to read soon. And not only that, they talked about the top two books that they would recommend that they have read recently. And I don't remember the names of the books, so I'm not going to bother saying that. This interview, I believe, happened, uh, let's say, Thursday, maybe Wednesday. So I'm sure if you Googled it or YouTubed it, you could find it. But one of the books they were talking about was it was like having the perfect morning or something like that. And they were talking about how it had influenced them. In fact, Robert had been working on following the book's uh, philosophies now for three weeks straight and Kim was like at two weeks straight. So we're talking these are guys that are leading the example by reading still to this day, learning from what the books have to say, applying it to their lives and that is their lifestyle. This isn't something that you're having some random Joe preach to you on the phone or you know whatever this you know a video. It's actually people, the successful people, this is what they do. Warren Buffett reads like a maniac. Bill Gates reads like a maniac. Warren Buffett bought a plane just so he could read in it and get away from everybody else. Ponder that. Ty Lopez brags about reading a book every single day. That is the successful people. Those are the people that are going places in this world and solving the world's problems because they're constantly trying to learn, constantly trying to grow, and constantly trying to improve themselves. So one of the things that they mentioned was that in this morning book, that the thing that they were trying to apply to their own lives, and me, I'm not worth quite the hundreds of millions of dollars that Robert and Kim Kiyosaki are worth, so I decided, hey, you know, if it works for them, maybe it should work for me, maybe I'll try. And so that's what I've been doing. It started just a couple days ago, and this is how their mornings start off. Meditate, boom. So you do your meditation. Each one of us has our own definition. Do what works for you. I am the worst meditator in the world. I'm not patient. I don't like sitting there. I don't like singing Kumbaya. I don't like humming. I don't like listening to slow music. I don't like any of that. But if it works for Robert and Kim and they're worth a little more than I, maybe I should learn. Just a thought. So that's what I focused on doing. I literally get up in the morning. First thing I do is sit down, relax, meditate. Then you go from that to affirmations. What are you trying to do? What are you improving? How are you going to get to your goals? You can't say, I'm gonna be worth a million dollars. What are you going to give to be worth a million dollars? What are you going to do to be worth a million dollars? How much time is it going to take? You have to write that down. And so that's what I do in affirmations. In fact, I will give you an example of what I do. This is, this is my own affirmations, what I do. It says, I will earn. One million dollars by January 1st, 2022, by giving two hours a day minimum to help others, helping others, until I can do it full time, until I can afford to do it full time. I will help millions of people through app development, through companies, or through politics. Now, I don't know what it is for you. Maybe you don't want millions of dollars. Maybe you want your own thing. And I'm not here to tell you what it should be. And I'm telling you 100% it shouldn't be exactly what mine is. It needs to be what you work on. It needs to be the time frame you need to be working on. It needs to be your goals. But once you start pounding that into your head and repeating it over and over and over, your brain starts working. Hey, hey, hey. 010122, that's coming up pretty soon. How do we get there? What do we got to do? And instead of your brain working on some problems, oh, I'm always going to be in debt, oh, I'm always going to be poor, oh, the world's so horrible, oh, I'm not smart enough, oh, I'm not rich enough, oh, my parents weren't good enough, I didn't go to college, whatever your excuse is, you then t change that and your brain goes into, what can I work on, what can I improve on? 
who January 1st, 2022. Man, that's coming up pretty quick. What can I do to make that money? How can I make that money? It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, just like negativity becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. I then go from affirmations to visualization. I sit there and after I've done my affirmations, I actually think about that happening. If I have my million dollars and I'm making one million dollars a year, what will my life be like? Will I be getting that massage whenever I want? Once a week, twice a week, five times a week? Will I be able to be doing all my workout things that I would love to do, but at the moment I can't justify spending the money on? Will I be able to travel the world? Will I be able to see the seven wonders? I visualize it. I sit there and I think about it. What is my life gonna be like? Are people gonna come up to me and go, Brandon, can I work for you? Brandon, how did you do that? Visualize it. Make your brain think about it. How is it going to happen? Just like negativity, positivity helps you. Negativity tears you down. What are you filling your head with? I then go from visualization to reading. I don't care what you want to read. Pick your own thing. I have my own book club that I'm part of. I'm part of Ty Lopez's book club. I get two books every single month. And I try to go through those books. And I go through the different questions. And I try to apply them to my life. So that's what I do. So I go from reading and then I journal. Now my journaling I typically do at the end of the day, but now I'm starting to do it in the morning and talking about what happened the previous day. And I write down the good, the bad, the ugly, and how to improve. What's the point of writing it down unless we're fixing it? Hey, I really struggled with this. Okay, well the solution would be dot, 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 dot. And that's what I do. And the final thing after journaling is exercise. I don't care what your thing is, you know, maybe you just want to do sit-ups. Maybe you want to do push-ups. Maybe you just want to run. Maybe you just want to stretch. Exercise. Gets the blood flowing. Gets moving. That's not my strong suit either. I, my argument is, oh, I'll just work. I work physical labor. I don't need to exercise. But I'm now doing it. And I've noticed, and this is only two or three days notice. So, I mean, it's not like I have a ton of experience in this. But already I've noticed that it seems like it gets the brain working way more awake like I do this stuff first thing in the morning this is all like the first thing I do when I get up is I do all these things I'm listening to you and it seems like the exercise after you're doing all that your brain's thinking positive thoughts and you get that blood flowing you're doing some push-ups you're doing whatever you're gonna do and it seems like your whole body's activated at this point you're no longer like for me it was like okay it's two hours I'm gonna grind before I go to work but now it's like my brain's working I'm not like oh, falling asleep while I'm trying to read and so I found it to be super helpful. So anyway, those are what I'm working on. And if you're not working on yourself, tell me. And I, I, I'm just asking yourself to ask, look at yourself in the mirror. Go, hey man, what makes me better than Robert Kiyosaki and Kim Kiyosaki? What makes me better than Ty Lopez? What makes me smarter and more mature than Warren Buffett? How am I so much better than Bill Gates? If you're not working on yourself and not improving yourself and trying to, I mean, we all say, oh, we're all, I'm trying to work myself, I'm trying to quit smoking, I'm trying to cut my diet, I'm trying to not, no. We either are or we aren't. So if you're not trying to better yourself and you're looking at people so much more successful still trying to improve themselves, who are we to say we're really trying to get better? Who are we to trying to say we're trying to live a successful life, to try to make money, to try to live a fulfilled life, whether it involves money or not? We're hypocritical if we're not actually trying to improve ourselves. So my question for you is to go back throughout your life, I don't care what it is, and tell me what is it, whether it's today or throughout your life, what is it that helped you the most get the most out of your day? So far, this has been the most successful thing for me. Starting this way, it's somewhere, it takes somewhere between 15 minutes and an hour, and I, I do it according to how much I have booked the rest of the day. But what is it that's helped you the most, get the most out of your day? Was it sleeping in? Was it getting up early? Was it scheduling? What is it? This for me has been the best for me. But what is it for you? Looking forward to seeing your comments. Talk to y'all later. Peace out. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Thank God it's Monday, guys. Thank God it's Monday. Don't, don't fake it. Don't, oh, it's Monday. Like, are you looking forward to Monday? Because I am. Monday's coming around, guys. I'm sunburnt, had an awesome weekend, and I can't wait for Monday. Thank God it's Monday. Peace out.